Hey guys, welcome to our second vlog, traveling to East Sikkim. So this is a day one vlog that we have made. We were we have travelled by via bus, and we reached Shiliguri a bit late. So we faced a big jam also in the road. So, but still, I would say traveling to East Sikkim was a very beautiful decision that we have ever taken. India has many exotic hill stations that turn into a winter wonderland every year. Witnessing snowfall and playing in the snow at least once in a lifetime is every traveler's fantasy. But for some like me or you, these places would be a travel bucket bucket list without having even a single location where it snows. So it was in my bucket list to travel to East Sikkim as well. So the, as this is a, as it, this I say that this is a uh, day one vlog. So we travel to Yakutan. So Yakutan is a homestay dependent village in East Sikkim, in India, situated 6,000 feet above the sea level, distance from Gangtok, only 35 kilometers after Pakhya. So when you will travel to Yakutan, I would say take a package like we did. We did it from Seoul Lin. We got a package of 6,200 per head as we traveled to nine people and uh, we got a facility of breakfast, lunch, dinner as well as a snack and all the traveling facilities like this local sightseeing, everything was included in the package except the one which was not included is the, uh, the charges that we need to pay the permit charges, permission charges that, uh, that is for the old silk route which is a one-time police permit that will cost you 300 per car at Rumli and wildlife permit 60 per head at Padamjit if you travel to Padamji. So we have travelled to uh, travelled on the month of June and December. On June month we have travelled when we have travelled. We faced the, as there that was a rainy season we cannot go beyond Zuluk as a landslide docker. So we again travelled on the month of December and we got a view of the magnificent Mount Kanchenjunga fully from starting from the Chiliguri till Zuluk. So as you can see currently we are we were passing by the Tista River and on the month of June Tista River gets full of water and it gives a very beautiful view all over the trip. So as we reached a bit late we got uh, we have place jam as I said earlier so we waited a bit and when we reached Yakutan it was of evening time. So now come back to the Yakutan part. If you're traveling from uh, by flight, then you can directly go to the Pakhya, a new airport which is uh, which has been built or uh, built, uh, and you can directly go to the Gangtok if you want to go. And currently, with the uh, which you are seeing is the Pakhya Airport, the view of the Pakhya Airport that if you are traveling and if you are traveling by via flight. Now let me see about Yakten a bit. So with a nice picturesque virgin village surrounded by lush green fields and also famous for rare Himalayan orchids, there are few homestays for nature-loving travelers. This village decorated with, the, uh, with these homestays. All the rooms of the homestays are very lovely, well decorated, well facilities. So as, I, as you can see, uh, I have clicked for you a, a view from uh, the Yakten. When we reached Yakten, it was almost evening and we got a view like this. From the barren land we clicked. And this was the night time when we enjoyed our food, which was completely organic food. Now, homestay owner will welcome you with a cup of tea along with the food, local food. The next view which you are seeing was from our homestay. And down there you will see a orchid farming that we will we have put uh, a photo also from the inside the inside view so let me see about the foods now homestay owner will welcome you with the food as i said with a cup of tea along with the local food say roti a traditional homemade food in nepali communities a must have cuisine made by the rice flour little sweet edible oil and tea leaf extract with lots of warm hospitality the lunch is also mouth watering especially for you will never forget taste of coriander and mint chutney shining light of gantok city and zulu can be visible from your room at night sky Taking an early morning rise, walk a few minutes through the dense forest that you will see uh, in my uh, in this video itself. So, as I said, the the view of the rooms were very clean. The we got a very good hospitality from them. In fact, the bathrooms were clean. We got a visa facility also. So uh, the next day we we were traveling to Relip. So before uh, traveling to Relip, we 
sneaked a bit a few, few pictures and uh, a few videos also for you so uh, if you are uh, if you want to travel by walking then you can take an early morning rise walk as i said and walk for a few minutes through the dense forest for from the village to witness a memorable sunrise and a whiz game of sunlight on a snow capped peaks of mount kanchenjunga which if you travel on december you can see mount kumbhakarna and mount kabru one could also me, uh, make short hike to jhandidara and budangari with where one could find the ancient ruins of the fort the trek route along jandidara is blossomed with different species of rock. Thank you guys for